Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rant and Bollocks. Uh, you're here with us for a review of Game of Thrones. We got episode uh, one of season eight, Winterfell. Um, super, super exciting because we've been waiting like what a year and a half for this pool. How long have we been waiting yeah, for this? And that's why we made sure we made everybody wait just a little bit longer. Just a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been over. Yeah, because they had to stop production so that they could shoot in the winter so they could have the winter look for these like this episode and all the other future episodes because winter has come yes <laughs> so yeah it's been over a year yeah it's been well over a year and uh yeah they've been teasing it for a while uh they left it on a big cliffhanger um it's yeah it's just super exciting it's back and it came out on sunday and god damn god damn there's six of them and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do weekly ones, uh, weekly reviews. We'll get them out a little bit sooner. Uh, this one's probably our gonna be our latest one that we've done. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, just we're not good at this. It's not it's not our job. It's not. Our it job. is our job, but it's not our job. <laughs> we're we're, <laughs> we're slowly getting better. You know, at least we're on some kind of weekly schedule. You know. Yeah, we're getting somewhere close to being regularly bad at this. Now we're just <laughs> usually bad. Exactly. So. Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first, or should we both just shout and then just let it merge in the middle? Um, I I am going to just kick something off, and then I'm going to throw it over to you first. But the thing I want to kick off first is I got to tell you, man, I've not been so excited to see something for a long time. Now we've got Avengers Endgame coming out uh, next week, next Friday, um, yeah, and I'm very excited to see that. Like, extremely excited to see that. But I'm just as excited to see all of these Game of Thrones episodes. And I just bring it up because last Sunday, I was. Um, this is no, this is no um, rumor or or uh, or anything. But I do, I do torrent, I do torrent things every now and again. <laughs> but I, I, uh, I signed up to Crave. So I live in Canada. I signed up to Crave. And they do a HBO little add-on. So that's how I'm watching Game of Thrones. I recommend anyone else in Canada. I mean, I think it's the only way to to watch it. If you're streaming, if you've got cable, you can get it other ways. But Crave TV is $10. HBO add-on is $10. You can cancel any time. If you sign up to Crave to start with, if it's your first time, you'll get the first month free. So really, I'm getting all of this for $30. It's, that's such good value. Um, so I just wanted to say that the stream on Crave was excellent. It came out at nine o'clock when Game of Thrones should have come out. But uh, the the thing that I was uh, I just wanted to say was I was so excited to watch this. I was at the machine at nine uh, at eight fifty five, waiting with you know the play button to kind of go. All right, it's almost almost nine <laughs> o'clock, you know. And I haven't done that for a long time, and it just shows how like big impression this show has on on people and on on myself as well. So um yeah i was just like i was pumped to watch it uh and, in a, and, a, and a funny thing as well in toronto uh we had a thunderstorm at the same time so the thunder and lightning was going off big time around that time uh and i was chatting to a couple of guys and they were like oh yeah this is good atmosphere but really all i was thinking was we're gonna fucking lose power <laughs> and i'm not gonna <laughs> be able to bloody watch this thing you know i honestly thought we were gonna lose power because like lightning was just like boom every time and this is like just leading up to nine o'clock so i was kind of shitting my pants going like you're really putting me on edge here you know but um yeah i just wanted i just wanted to say that i haven't sat in front of my tv for a long time and been like right it's nine o'clock boom let's press play you know well so, you know you're like thank you. you're not the only person who's excited to watch it like i think there was a bunch of crashes all across the world yeah with like hbo apps and streaming services i think hulu had a problem and amazon had a problem well i will say when i like, when i started it up it. it it did do like the spinning wheel of death kind of thing and i was like please god no you know but uh <laughs> but it, you know, it, it came in and uh and it was it was 1080p you know not 4k sorry but it was 1080p it, it looked it looked barely great. see it i know blurry as fuck but um but super cool it started the interest started the music started we had smiles on our faces um but now i'll throw it over to you because what did you think i think that new intro was great but i think the episode was a bit of a disappointment okay I just right. just i don't know it was just one of those episodes where it's kind of like 
Like we were talking before it aired, we're like, oh, they're going to do something big. They're going to bring people back into it. Mm. And like I was a bit harsh on it after I first watched it. I was like, God damn it, that was a waste of an hour. Then I was kind of like, oh, I know they got to introduce everybody back and kind of ease people into it. But like I could have, I could have done with not watching that episode and gone straight into the next episode. You see, that's uh, like I do, I I do feel the same. But now I've had time to digest it. I'm like, but they needed time, you know. <laughs> they needed yeah. time to introduce everyone, and and like, and we hadn't seen these guys for a year and a half. And some of the characters, like Jon Snow and Arya, hadn't seen each other since season one. So you need, you can't just rush that either. Um, so I do, I do feel the same. At the same yeah. time, I can't help but think motherfuckers you've only got six episodes let's get yeah, this exactly. move. let's get this moving you know so i do because for I agree with spoiler you there. for the next episode although everybody listening to this has probably seen it next week's episode coming up on sunday they've they're showing or at least they're teasing that the dragons will be fighting and there's going to be a siege and there's going to be at least the first wave of the army hitting winterfell yeah and it's like that could have really been the end of this episode mm. Like the end of this episode, spoiler again, but it's all spoiler review, is John's heritage is revealed. And apart from that, there's nothing new in this episode. Yeah, it's true. It's true. That's the only thing that's kind of progressing now. Yeah. Yeah. Like the. the like we knew that he was going to, uh, that the army was going to get to Winterfell. We knew all of these things were going to get set up, but yeah. they were just showing it all. That's all. But the new kind of information was now john knows that he's rightful king kind of thing yeah and i like the little freaky zombie kid come to life that was an awesome little moment oh, yeah. but in terms of putting a, a, a threat back into people's minds it's like we already have the best threat which was the dragon blew up the wall and they're all marching through like you're not getting a better oh shit moment than that like nothing's gonna make you think oh that these guys are really bad now because you saw them kill like a couple of people yeah here's the thing um so i think because we watched that dragon blast through the wall a year and a half ago that we're still in that kind of pumped mode you know but it's been a year and a half and i think the way you need to tell that story like it's gone back to kind of chill uh and and it kind of t- uh, and it, and i think episode two or three will kind of you know kick off again and, and have big dragons fighting and stuff but um a friend at work said that he watched all of the seasons together and he said that the the ep- uh, the episode that Jon snow died he basically that was the end of that season and then he was back uh an episode or an episode and a half <laughs> ago um he was back alive again you know but really for us like a year had passed but because he was watching it back to back it was only an episode and a half and he was like oh well that wasn't really impactful so i feel like this episode wh- why it's so slow is because the writers and everyone know that it's been a year and a half and then and people even though like the dragon blew through the wall at the end of the last one um uh, they're just kind of they they know people haven't they, they might not be rewatching that so they're just kind of you know easing them back into it so um and and by the way i still i i'm i'm in agreement with you that i did think it was a bit lackluster but now i've had time to think about it i can understand why why it was a bit slower i can understand it but i'm not gonna say that i need like i didn't need to watch that episode yes yeah and 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 in a nutshell, they only have six to tell the story, and they've kind of, in a way, wasted one. So yeah, like that's the that's what was happening before this came out. It's like here's your episodes, here's how long the episodes will be, and it kind of had this sense of everything being very important and very big and very uh, contained. Like oh, we've got to cram everything in. It's going to be an hour and a half long episodes and all this. And then this episode comes out, you're kind of like this isn't a lot in here. <laughs> yeah. I also um, completely forgot. I thought the episode was going to be longer. So the episode was 54 minutes, but I do know that uh, the third one, again, we've got spoilers in here, guys. The third one's going to be an hour and 22. And the third one is battle for Winterfell. So that's the big battle. So my, my fear is that next episode is going to be another slow one. It might be another, like, I think maybe halfway through it, it might start kicking off. But I think we're going to get another 
30 minutes of slowness. Yeah, uh, I think which kind of like I wouldn't have kind of I wouldn't have minded that. I wouldn't have minded that if that was the build up again. You go back to something like the Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, or Zulu, or one of those movies. Like if you know that there's a threat right over the wall or right over the horizon, yeah, and everyone's kind of just like you've got that tension building and the the fear of everybody trying to get inside the walls and the innocent people and the warriors getting ready and everyone's panicked and then somebody maybe has a speech and all this. That's great, but in this episode, they were still just like, oh, well, the army of the dead aren't coming. The car Starks haven't joined us. Oh, well. And it's like, fuck, you're killing the tension. You're killing this massive army's potential. But again, it, it could be a, a little bit of a tone thing of, oh, they're going to show that nobody knows what the hell's happening. And then in the next episode, they're going to just like, destroy a bunch of shit and everyone's going to realize the scale of the problem yeah that's hopefully what happens well i mean uh, that goes back to you and i because we were texting each other before that episode came out and you were like they could just kill off someone right from the start and i was like oh yeah that'd be good and then i was like they kill, could kill off three people four within the episode you know and uh, we've got like a little deadpool going at work and uh, everyone was filling it out like dead alive uh, or a white walker kind of thing and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to come in on Monday and kind of fill out the ticks and the crosses. I didn't have to do anything because no one fucking died, you know? Um, so, yeah, they were kind of, they were teasing at things and towards the end of the episode, obviously, like the kid on the wall and, and, and the shrimp cocktail on on the wall with all the, uh, <laughs> well, the body parts. But, uh, um, yeah, like it was, the ending was, was really getting there. But I think, like you said, they could have, maybe got there during like the middle of the episode and, and done some more, maybe showed the dragons uh, kind of approaching and shit like that. So, Yeah. Even just to have something like, like, yeah, just a death or, or some sort of, I, I guess my problem would be, I understand that they have to give everybody time to get back into it, but also this is season eight. There's nobody new getting into this and nobody new getting into that episode would have learned anything about anybody. Hmm. So you kind of want to just give the people who've already been watching a little bit of thanks for watching. Thanks for turning back. Here's what you tuned in for. Here's what you waited for. Yeah. But I think the show's too big that we're all going to wait for it anyway. Um, uh, did, have you spoken to anyone else, uh, any of your other buddies about this? Uh, just cause no, I, just, I haven't left any. Yeah, I've chatted to a couple of people at work, and they kind of feel the same that it was it was a bit slow, and they were expecting a little bit. But I don't think they were expecting what we were with like a death off the beginning and another three at the end, you know. But I think there was a few people saying like, "Hey, it's cool to see this. Cool to see that. It's great to be back on TV and all that lot." But yeah, I think the general vibe was, yeah, a bit slow. Nice to see the characters. Um, I did. I chat to my wife Leah about it. Um, she she was positive about the episode. She liked it. Her favorite thing was seeing John and Aria together. And I I have to admit I did like all of those scenes, um, seeing all those characters together with John again because it's been literally since season one, hasn't it? So yeah, that was cool. So I I understand that it's been eight seasons, eight year. I'd say eight years, but it's been ten years because of all the filming mishaps and stuff. So. You almost want to appreciate that that it's taken that long, and you don't want to rush that along. So, um, I feel I feel like I'm being nice about this because I was I was actually quite pissed off after uh, at the end of the episode. I was like, ah, God, there's only five more, and I I was expecting to see more. But um, but now, well, that, my worry yeah. now is that if there's only five more, mm. and you assume that let's say a third of everybody's going to die. <laughs> Like, yeah. you know, oh, Jamie's going to die or Tyrion. Like, however many people are going to die, you're going to have to put all of them into five episodes. And I think a lot of things are going to get shortchanged. Right. Like, you're going to have to tell the story. And you're going to have to be like, oh, we're going to have to kill this guy real quick and that's not going to have enough time. And they're going to kill this guy real quick and they won't have enough time to deal with that. And I get that's part of the world. Like things don't get resolved well in Game of Thrones. Things don't always go like we expected to go with the good guys beating the bad guys. And, you know, the bad guy gets his comeuppance and you're like, oh, yes, victory for the little underdog. 
but at the same time you kind of you've built up seven years of storylines and characters and yeah now you've got five episodes you got to stick it all you gotta, you gotta stick the landing and all of them yeah totally um that kind of brings me on to like a little uh, a point um which uh someone brought up and i kind of felt the same as well it's like the episode felt like it was a bit a bit like a movie um the way it was kind of uh shot and and, uh, and flowed a little and like it had it had more humor in it as well i don't know it just it felt a little bit different in a tv episode it felt more like a movie um but uh yeah there was definitely also a lot more humor in it like especially with um uh what's your face let me just bring up his well there's a lot of yeah there's a lot of um in terms of shooting you could tell that there was a lot of like ability for them to shoot multiple scenes yeah i know i know production value has gone up as well but it just felt like and and the episode was an hour uh, it's obviously shorter than a uh, than a movie but it just it had movie vibes to it which good and bad but i almost felt like they were stringing it along like making it uh longer than they uh, they should have but uh Tormund, sorry uh when he goes <laughs> i've always had blue eyes like little scenes like that and he's not yeah. uh, like he, he usually is funny but just in that kind of uh high intense scene uh he wouldn't usually say stuff like that but there, there was actually quite a few funny scenes especially with like john snow as well and and things he was saying but um yeah i, I felt like i was watching a movie when uh when i was uh what uh seeing it and it ended obviously a lot quicker than a movie but uh yeah i would say it'll get a lot better obviously it's not gonna stay slow like that but it, it comes back to the idea of this is your premiere episode. This is what people yeah. were buying Crave for. This is what people were tuning in after a year and a half. This is why apps were crashing. And all you get is just people meeting each other. That's the whole episode is people meeting each other. It You know, it is. And, and it's such a big series that I think most people, more than half, will have liked that and enjoyed that, to be honest. I do think, obviously, you're going to have your hardcore fan that are going to be like, what the heck? I wanted to see this. I wanted to see heads roll off and stuff. But if you look at the beginning seasons throughout, you know, the whole, uh, the other seven of them, did it kick off in all of those? I, I, I Like, I'm sure a couple of them did, but I'm sure a lot of them kind of started. No, like, slowly, you wouldn't you have know, always had to, the, you know. the big starts. But again, it's less yeah. that it was a big start, but more of, okay, is this going to be a twist or is that going to happen? And it, none of that happened. There was no progression for yeah. anybody except John. And for me, I yes. don't think John yeah. finding out he's the king or the rightful king is going to matter. Mm. Like his character has always been established as the guy who's going to sacrifice himself to do the right thing. He's sure. not going to turn around at the, the last minute and say to Daenerys, uh, I'm the king, fuck you. Well, that's that's you know what people are wondering about, and he killed Sam's family as well. So maybe he's a little bit yeah. pissed there. Well, he I could see him happening Daenerys like in a f- down the line. Like if things, if everybody made it out okay, he might have a fight with her then. But right. at this point, I don't think he's going to be like, oh yeah, well, I'm going to go have a chat with her about whether or not I should be the rightful king and all this shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would have just I, liked to see something agree. with. Like Cersei has a spy, or there's like something that's gonna like make you worry about people. I wasn't worried about yeah. anybody by the time the episode ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, I do. Uh, like Cersei didn't get her elephants, though, man. She's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gotta get I those did, elephants. I, uh, I found it funny that Bran was just sitting in the yard for like the entire episode in his chair. <laughs> He was basically the entire episode waiting for Jamie, wasn't he? Which is, <laughs> yeah, which, pretty much. Which is kind of funny. Like, he was pretty much in the yard the entire episode. And then uh, what I found kind of cool was, I think it was towards the end, the last, like, ten, five or five, ten minutes, whatever, he was like, I'm waiting for an old friend. But then it cut to a couple of other scenes, and I think most people forgot about that. And then it cut back to him, and you're like, holy shit. This is Jamie, isn't it? You know, getting off the horse and stuff. Yeah. So I did really, really like that end cliffhanger. I thought that was awesome. It's nice and, to and, see that it, yeah. he's still got a part of that kind of 
like you said, that's a good throwback to the first season. Yes. It's one of those things that you've waited for for 10 years and seven seasons, but it's like, I just don't think it matters. I don't know. There's something about it that I'm just like, there's got to be a bigger issue at the end of this episode than what they kind of left us with. Yeah. I, I'm, I, it's either it, it's just as it is and it's not that big or they're just teasing us. They're just trolling us and teasing us. And then like episode two is going to be another one. And then suddenly it's just going to go boom and shit is going to hit the fan like big time. I mean, it's definitely going to hit big time in, in episode three. I'm just hoping episode two kicks off like quite soon like within the first 15 minutes it, it kicks off big time i don't want to i don't want another one of those episodes in, in episode two and be like okay you know episode three is where it's gonna happen you know um and i'm only just judging that off like the length of them but um uh yeah they've they've only got six they've only got six to fit this in yeah i think the next episode is going to be a little bit more of a action pack kind of thing and i'm not just looking for action i didn't just want a big war sure but it, it it's also like i said it's uh Tormund goes to the castle and they're like oh is there anybody here oh there's nobody here oh there's a dead zombie kid oh things are on fire scary it's like you've already built the scare up to the most it could be you've already got the armies to the most they could be you're not going to do anything with that like angle you're going to do something with the people with the with the characters Mm. and uh, they didn't do anything with the characters that we hadn't seen for seven years yeah i do i do agree except maybe yeah what's her name uh the sophie turner uh the lady of winterfell like she sansa yeah sansa yeah not being quite on board with sir uh with daenerys yeah that's kind of something there, but yeah, uh, yeah. That was expected though, as well. Like I said, it's lackluster, but we've waited for so long. It's just like okay, there's another one in like four days. It's yeah, fine. yeah. It's it's coming every week, kind of thing. So, and we did get to see John riding some dragons, which I think was fairly predictable, but uh, that was uh, that was kind of cool. That uh, and you could just see how the production value, like that scene, I think on any other season would have been. 10 seconds long but this one we were like oh we can string it out 30 seconds <laughs> yeah or even the start of it where you have the the marching army of the unsullied yeah, yeah. that's time. pretty there's definitely a scale to it and like you said it feels more grand than previous it, it yeah. seasons and filmic but just do something with it you've already got five episodes left that's that was my concern at the end of it when i when i finished it i was like you guys have only got five more left now i'm gonna give you this one because like it's been a year and a half and you're easing us in but don't fuck the next five up don't give us like two amazing last ones and four just like media core you know so um, oh god that yeah. could happen no just mention it you, you, you just don't know yeah um the other thing i found a little bit strange with the uh with the episode i again we're we're talking quite a few negatives here and i guess that's kind of the vibe but um uh sam finding out about his father and brother and he was like super pissed and running away i was like they fucking hated you and you didn't really you weren't really too fond of them i was a little bit thrown off by that um i, I guess it's just oh it's my dad and my I think, brother kind of thing but well now yeah now that i think about it i'm just like oh maybe he's thinking he's got a, li- a little bit more stature he's kind of like oh maybe my dad would be proud of me but I was a little bit, I just thought he'd be like, oh, I don't care, like my family or, you know. But he was, just the way he reacted and ran away, and then he was like telling Jon Snow, this is what they did, and blah, blah, blah. I was a little bit like, ah, oh, I wasn't expecting him to do that. But, uh, but yeah. I think, yeah, a lot of that episode was kind of dealing with Jon, and how is Jon going to do this, and how is Jon going to do that? And it's like... Well, for one thing, Kit Harrington isn't the most charismatic character on the show. Mm. So I'm like, I don't give a crap if John's going to do this or that. Sure. But it's like he's it's like I said with the him learning he's a Targaryen or the king. It's like n- nothing in his history has made him out to be somebody who's either going to fly off the handle or do something reckless or do something sneaky. He's he's the he's the most pure character in that world. Mm. So, you know, Tarly saying his family was killed, would you have done that? Trying to 
get him riled up and then telling him he's the king and then Sansa's giving him all this shit about he was the king in the north like yeah it doesn't work I don't think for him like he's not he's never going to be this kind of Cersei Lannister character who could be like plotting or moving things around or got these long-term goals he's just like what's right in front of him that's what he's dealing with yeah and I don't think they can change it now in the final season yeah, I think I think people just love John as he is, but I I, I do agree he's not like very charismatic. So uh, basing the whole episode around him like that, like could could have negative effects. But uh, but you know they got five more, man. They got five more. They got five more. I, Maybe they'll base the next one around Tyrion. I did. Um, I, I guess this leads in with, and we've we've always talked about him, but I did hear two kind of cool theories that I thought I'd mention because it could be it could go somewhere like this but one of them was um uh, a colleague at work mentioned this to me and i just wanted to mention it was the night king uh his army's coming down for winterfell but what if he is only bringing a portion of his army to winterfell because he knows that they have two other dragons he's got one dragon but he also knows the dragons can kind of take out his uh, zombies. I can't remember what they're called now, but the uh, they're not White Walkers. White but... Walkers. Well, oh, White, yeah, White Walkers the are things, the main yeah. guys, but you know, so he knows that they they can take out that. What if he's taking and his bigger part of the army round to Cersei, um, you know, to kind of just divert div, uh, div, divert traffic, <laughs> but um, <laughs> uh, how just co- cause a diversion. Yeah. How cool would it be in the episode if they're attacking and you see hordes? Uh, attacking Winterfell, and they're all like, you know, do this, do that. They're dragons. They're winning. You know, dragons are taking them down. And then suddenly, like, um, Daenerys or Jon's like, where the hell is their dragon, you know? And then they're like, where is he? Where is he? And then the end of the episode, Cersei, she's in our castle, and she looks across the sea or something, and she's just like, what the fuck is that? And it's the dragon and, like, a bunch of, you know, a bunch of them coming for her. I just thought, that that's kind of cool. Um, I would be surprised if the next episode is the the uh, Night King. I yeah, I don't I don't think we'll see it in the next. I think, I think yeah, I it'll think be that's the third one. Good, it'll be the third yeah. one. So. But I think that's a good idea that they're not going to have the main battle be at uh, Winterfell. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what could be kind of kind of cool. I think everyone's expecting it, but we were all expecting some crazy first episode and we didn't get that <laughs> so you never yeah. know I, no i think that would make a lot more sense even just from a tactical point of view yeah he want he wants to sit on the iron throne yeah so exactly i think that straight would, for that the, the other thing that kind of annoys me is cersei's kind of just sitting there and she's like she wants her elephants and she's got her army but really um i think in her mind she's just saying i'll let them do the fight for me and then i'll and then everyone will be weak, including my White Walkers, and I'll just go in there and finish them off kind of thing. But, so I just think that's like an obvious thing that's going to happen. But maybe, yeah, so if the uh, if the White Walkers come round and suddenly attack her, maybe she gets attacked first before even Winterfell, you know? And it's like, what the hell's going on, you know? I don't know. Just just an idea. Just a thought. The other one was, and this one's, this one's pretty out there as well, but um, Tyrion's mother was possibly raped by the Mad King. So it's possible that he is the actual true um, king to the Iron Throne. Um, and that is why, in that one episode, he could walk into that little uh, dungeon and the dragons uh, were okay with him when he went, went up to them and touched them. Interesting. So that's another interesting one. Uh, See, I think yeah. that would make more sense stylistically if you have everybody fighting at you know at and around the iron throne like actually fighting for the throne mm. rather than fighting at winterfell yes i do, I, I agree um that was there not a scene of like the throne all burnt and, and crisp as well in one of the episodes because that kind of alludes to maybe the dragons coming and like just you know uh wreaking havoc uh around the throne as well but yeah i do agree i think i think we're all thinking it's going to be this battle in the winter and 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 uh winterfell but what if it just turns it on its head and it's like no the reason i've taken so long is because they're actually coming for the iron throne itself you know yeah they've like circled around and they're going down around the south well it's a little bit weird as well because um uh with uh the guys at the end of the uh the first 
uh, episode uh Tormund and stuff and it was like we need to get back to Jon Snow and it's like we're going to we're going to take some horses cuz we'll get there before and i i believe uh the teaser for episode 2 is him saying you've got till sundown or something but i <laughs> a little confused of how he got there first like i understand horses are faster than a foot but like did he did he how did he go around them and i'm sh- i don't know if they'll tell that story but they're very slow. They're very zombie. They're incredibly they just, slow. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. And they don't know where they're going. They don't have a map, Al. Come on. <laughs> it's not. They don't know what's going on. God damn it. I would like to know, though, if this is just something like that's in my head. Like when he turned the uh, dragon into a zombie, mm. does that mean he can turn every animal into a zombie? Because they have horses. Um. I Yeah. Well, yeah, he's on a horse. He's on a dead horse. So the, can they like can you just like go through all the lands and like turn in dire wolves into horses and like bears and yep. or not into horses <laughs> turning them into horses turning them into zombies <laughs> like can he can just like wa- I just love to see him like walking along and all these like insects and scorpions all turning into fucking zombies I, and I think this so. creepy crawly mass of dead things coming at them I think they're all dead I I, I do I just think it's up to the artists and, and the guys how much they want to show you know it's like those lazy shits I don't know why but it, it brings me on to like you know 24 you never see him going for a piss so it's like <laughs> with the with the Night King you don't see him with his dogs you know or his his beetles <laughs> maybe in the next episode will end the way we thought it would end this episode Everybody dies, and then it's just four more episodes of the Night King ruling the world. And he's actually a really good king, and he's really nice, and he takes care of people. A really, really nice guy. So, (laughs) it could. I mean, it's just like I'm sorry I come across. I'm just I'm a a bit a bit aggressive, but you know I want the best for things. (laughs) You never know. You never know. Um, oh, overall, like I'm. Uh, you know, we're glad that it's back on TV. Um. We've got another five to go. I think the vibe was it's a little bit lackluster. Hopefully it picks up. Um, yeah. yeah. I think for me, if it was a regular season, I'd rate it highly. Sure. But because I know it's the last season, they've only got six episodes, it really is a bit of a kick. You're like, holy shit, you wasted an hour on that. Mm. And yeah. it's not like, and I don't mean like it's a waste of an hour. I just mean that's all you put into that full hour like yeah. there's only one real change between the last episode of the last season and the next episode on sunday mm. is that john knows he's the king yes yeah yeah everything else is kind of like oh okay yeah it's- oh the ha- the hound is still alive Arya knows the hound is alive. like who gives a shit yeah i mean that that's the thing is they've had eight seasons of these characters and there, there are people that give a shit about that, but not enough to have a whole episode of it. So yeah. What I mean is it's not like, that's not a thing. Like that's a big thing. He nearly died and yeah, yeah. He, he had to fight, but I mean, nothing happened with it, but maybe the other part of it, she is just maybe... looks at him and he's like, Oh, you're a cold bitch now, aren't you? Maybe they're getting those. Maybe they're getting all of that out of the way. So they could just focus on mayhem for the next, you know, four or five yeah possibly and it's not even mayhem that i'm interested in it's just no kind i know of like, i know what what's going to happen like you said now that a Tyrion could be the king that's interesting he yeah could be the kind of prick who would kill Jon snow to become the king 100 percent, yeah and then you've got i guess you've got or you've got uh bron now and he's um he's give, been given the crossbow and it's just like take these two guys out the two brothers out just in case so that's a new dynamic but obviously he's good friends with them um the other thing that i found interesting was um aria's weapon that she wants to get made and uh i think it was a little unclear of what it was from what i could see it was almost like some kind of spear but if like she pressed a button like a little yeah switch, to me it looked it would, like the would, uh would, assassin's creed thing yeah on his wrist I, I i thought it was something like she clicks something and it will fling out and and my theory just from seeing that is that she's either gonna kill the night king jamie lannister or cersei um what, like or or maybe even the hound actually but uh it's going to be something along the lines of she's going to get like stabbed so she's probably going to die get uh, get uh impaled but then um she's going to flick it with the wrist and it's going to be going to this into the person's neck so but it's a flick of a wrist 
type weapon. That's what that's what I saw. So when I first saw yeah, it. I saw it. And I was like, it looks like a little little thing snaps out. It's like that looks like a an Assassin's Creed kind of weapon. Yeah, She's yeah. An assassin. But I, I I did just say there Cersei or Jamie, but I have a feeling that Jamie actually might kill Cersei. But whatever. There's so many theories out there. Here's something I'm going to ask you because you've watched it a lot more, or at least you have more of an in depth look at things. Do you think those what are they called? The children of the forest are going to come back, or uh, the one that whole that plot is going to just like die off I... now that Brand's left, or they're going to come back to it? I honestly think that's died off. I I found that the least appealing thing of all of Game of Thrones. Like whenever it cut to those scenes, I was a little bit like, ah, what's this? So I'm I'm pretty sure they're just going to. It's just going to be the Night King. I think that's just like the the undead and everything. It's just taking over everything. And I kind of hope that as well. But, so, yeah. yeah, it's just going to turn into like a army on army kind of thing. Yeah, I think not, so. Not a magic world kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I kind of hope that as well. I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, and also Bran, um, I fucking hate his haircut and I hate his, <laughs> I hate his face as well. I just don't like him uh, at all. <laughs> But, but that's ha- the character you're supposed to not like. I, I, what, man, what, what do you think is going to happen to him? He's going to rage. Like, he hasn't said much. John, you know, like, John came up to her and he was just like, you're a man now. You know, he's just like, almost, or whatever. He's just like a morbid yeah. fucker. Not really. Yeah, yeah. not really. But he, I think he's going to absolutely rage. Do you think he's going to take over a dragon? Or he is going to go insane, uh, I think, in the third or fourth, or fourth episode. Something's going to happen. He's going to start walking uh or levitating or something's going on well he, if he was a really prickish guy he would just what's it called warg or whatever he just warg jamie and kill cersei oh yeah that'd be funny oh man can you imagine it? just yeah, like yeah yeah you know get in him and then she sees hit the brother so she trusts him there you go and then it's like the the most painful thing is to be betrayed and all this and yeah he'll strangle her to death or something or it's like jamie goes back up to that you know the tower and he's just like this is where it all began and then somehow he, he bran pushes him out the window but maybe with like yeah. john or bran's something. definitely gotta step up a few fucking well i think he's, leagues at this point because it's just like step wheelchair right boy up yeah he's like professor <laughs> x with no powers he's useless yeah that's exactly it professor he's like x i know him. everything and i know uh, th- this is happening and I, i'm gonna talk cryptically and not really let anybody know yeah just fucking tell people shit you little weirdo i did like the fact that he was kind of saying what we've been saying this whole uh podcast is like just fucking get on with it because remember when um yeah uh, when they when they saw him, it was like we need to hurry up. They've got a dragon. They've got this. I felt like he was almost saying to the director, like we don't need this episode. Just just move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the brand podcast. The brand almost podcast. so good. Uh, it's, even like when his things with uh, Sam, and he's like, you have to tell him because you're his best friend, and I'm a weird little shit. It's like okay, <laughs> but <laughs> why can't you be there? Why have you waited all day for this? To, I just yeah. He's definitely got to do something with this being the third eye or whatever the he's called now. Yeah, yeah. Because he hasn't done anything for a while Man, since he, has, he killed yeah, he's Hodor. Done anything, yeah. So little shit. <laughs> but overall, well, like that was the whole point of like Hodor. His death was a great death, really emotional, and he realized it was because of bran and he has to save bran and he's so important and now when bran's back in the world he's just like he basically is a tree he's, he's just <laughs> becoming a tree he's just yeah. acting like a tree yeah he fucking looks like one so <laughs> <laughs> but he does have the right point just get on with it just get on got with five it. episodes exactly yeah well i know i know they ramp up like i think the next one's 55 minutes but um it looks a bit more action-packed but uh and then the third one is battle for winterfell I'm not sure about the others, but um, but the third one's the longest in the entire season, so it's longer than the last episode. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's a big. So one. if they're gonna go that kind of route of next episode, things get shitty. Third episode, things get really bad, but they find a special thing, or Arya uses her little stabby stab machine. Yeah, and they win. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. And then you have three episodes of dealing with, you know, Daenerys is on the island. She still has half her army. Cersei still has half her army. 
John's the rightful king, but maybe Tyrion's the rightful king and all that could... Yeah. Because all that's come to a boil and, like, there's the whole... What are they called? The the greys or whatever it is. Greyjoys. Like, they've all got to sort out that shit. With right, right. He kidnapped the queen and are they going to go get him back and all that? So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the third episode is the finale of the White Walkers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You never know. That That could be... That could be a really interesting approach as well. Like, it's not the Night King in episode six. It's the end of him in episode three, maybe four type thing. Yeah, and they're yeah. just dealing with, like, oh... The aftermath. To def- yeah, to defeat him, both of the dragons had to die and half of Daenerys' army. So now she's yeah. not strong enough on her own yeah. to beat Cersei's army, so she has to get Jon on her side. However, Jon's you- like, yeah, but you got- uh, I'm you- the king, fuck you. You got Jamie, he can give you some routes to get through, you know, this, this and that. Yeah. Jamie's like, take this passageway, uh, I'll you know, like this will get you, you know, beyond these armies, I'll fight here for you, you know, blah blah blah. And then Cersei's just like, Fuck, where are my elephants? <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, it's, we'll great. it's great. It's exciting times. We're chatting about it every week and uh and it's only going to get better. I, you know, that's that's the best thing. It's only going to get better. Yeah. And yeah. it's going to end. So It is going to end. At it this is. point, it's just like, just end. Just end. Finish <laughs> it. Until we get the prequel. Yeah. And then more to talk about. That's what the, keeps the podcast alive. Yeah. Stuff we're not involved in and have no right to discuss. <laughs> But uh, let us know your thoughts as well on the episode, guys. We will get these up a little bit sooner. Um, I think this one will be up on Thursday. We'll get we'll try and get them up on the, the day after. Uh, just it was a busy week for us. But yeah, let us know your thoughts, your theories, uh, whether you think we're right, whether you had positive vibes about this. And uh, just a reminder to, if you do like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel as well. But uh, thanks for that listening. That does help. It as does. much as it doesn't seem like it help, it does help. Yeah. And leave a like if you like the uh, the uh, review as well. Thanks for listening, guys. You're more useful than Bran. <laughs> <laughs>